Hey, deserving listeners, it's time to continue watching Married at First Sight. My name is Dr. Kirk Honda. This is the Psychology in Seattle YouTube channel, and I am a couples therapist, and I've been one for over 20 years. Let's watch the show. I specifically asked you if the secret came from Lindsay. You both are keeping this from me, that you're having a friendship. Is this why you think I'm keeping a secret? Because of something Lindsay told you? Oh, no, 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 no. And Today, I found out that you did lie to me. I guess I didn't want it to seem like I was being influenced from having words and, and you know topics and rumors coming in from all these different external sources. Yeah, I really just don't understand, Zach. So if you ha don't remember or you haven't watched this show, sometimes people watch these reaction videos even though they haven't watched the show. So Zach says to Mindy, I have some dirt on you, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. And then later it becomes revealed that the dirt that Zach had on Mindy was that Zach knew that Mindy was in contact with her ex. And because her, her ex said, I'll pick you up from the airport. And Mindy said, no, I don't want you to pick me up from the airport. I'm gonna have a friend pick me up from the airport. And so Zach was claiming that this dirt that he had on Mindy was that he knew that Mindy was in contact with her ex about picking her up from the airport because Mindy is friends with her ex, apparently. And then it comes out that Zach has been in potential romantic conversations with Mindy's friend. And then Mindy's like, well, who told you that I was texting with my ex? Well, it's no one you know, or no, it is someone you know, but it, I can't remember what he said, but it was some sort of excuse like, you'll never be able to figure out who it was that told me. And of course, Mindy's thinking, well, did Lindsay tell you? Because she's the only one that's even close to my circle who might have known about this. So did Lindsay tell you? No, Lindsay didn't tell me. It was someone else. Who else would tell you that my ex, like, it just doesn't make any sense. Then it comes out that it was Lindsay, in fact, that told Zach. And so Zach has lied about so many things right now that just don't make any sense. Why would you lie about things like that? If Zach is not interested in, in Mindy and wants to be with Lindsay or, do, or just doesn't want to be with Mindy, why don't you just say that? Why would you do all these odd behaviors? And then why would you accuse Mindy of like, I got dirt on you, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's just, it, it's a very interesting conundrum, from my mind anyway. I have a really hard time figuring out what is the governing principles of his defenses that would dictate his behavior. It's just really hard to tell. I think I said this in the very beginning, months ago, when I first started watching this show. There is a thing called IQ, and there is a bell curve, and right in the middle is 100, and you have 50% below 100 and you have 50% above 100. So that means half of the population, of any population, is below average intelligence. And my cat wants to chime in. Some people are significantly, say, a standard deviation or two away from the average intelligence. When you have lower than average intelligence, sometimes it's hard for you to sift through complex situations like I'm on a reality TV show and I'm not in love with this person, I don't know what to do, and I have feelings for her friend, and I'm trying to salvage my business because if I come across as a, a jerk face on this TV show, my business could take, you know, there's a lot of different factors you've got to figure out. I could see a scenario of someone like that, uh, after all that difficult calculation, resulting in behavior that we've seen in Zach, very confusing roundabout communication that he thinks makes sense but makes no sense, uh, flirting with her friend, but, but thinking he's going to get away with it when he's not, telling, you know, just the whole scenario. I could see that happening. Of course, I have no idea <laughs> because there's no way to just, you know, divine someone's intelligence by watching a reality TV show. But it would be a hypothesis worth, worth uh, exploring. Now, what do you do with that in psychotherapy? And a lot of therapists don't think about intelligence. We don't think about one's capacity for calculation speed, if you will. And it's a very important part of someone's mind. The ability to problem solve very quickly can go different directions, by the way. 
if you're very good at problem solving, sometimes that can lead to bad things potentially. Anyway, the point is, is that gauging someone's intelligence level, gauging, gauging someone's ability to think through problems and, and logic is a dimension worth exploring with people. Now, what do you do with that? Because you can't increase someone's IQ in therapy, but you can help someone slow down, sift through the factors one by one, maybe map it out on a piece of paper, create a system that helps them, given their lower IQ, to walk through complex relational situations. And that's, you know, this, you know, honestly, it was, this is not, not where I wanted to go. So, and, um, so because you didn't want it to seem a certain way to me, it was okay to lie about details. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was something I, I guess I should have never mentioned. Should have never mentioned or should have told me about? I, I mean, I regret mentioning any of that, to be honest with you. So to be clear, when he says, I regret mentioning anything to you about it, he is talking about him bringing up out of the blue, I've got dirt on you as a way of trying to what? What was his goal with doing that? Like, the only thing I can think of was that he was trying to show that, well, she's the bad one on TV, you know, because the cameras are there. It's like, oh, if this ends up bad, I can end up getting out of the relationship because Mindy did something bad by allowing her ex to text her, even though Mindy rejected the ex for a pickup from the airport. And it's okay to be friends with your ex. <laughs> so... Anyway, it's the only thing I can think of, but God knows, right? Because Zach is such a confusing person, at least on the show. Maybe in real life, he's, a, he's straight as an arrow, but on the show, very confusing. I mean, I'm your wife, and right. that's, that's disrespect. Right. That's major disrespect to be carrying on this relationship and then not even tell me the truth about it. I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't want to. Like I said, I regret bringing all of that up and making something out of it um, without any good reason. So I'm going to rewind what he said there, because that could indicate him knowing that he just has made a whole slew of mistakes and he can't explain it because his brain doesn't have the capacity to work through complex problems. I, I don't know, but let's rewind and hear what he just said there. Um, um, I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't want to. Like I said, I regret bringing all of that up and making something out of it um, without any good reason. I... So, <laughs> unless there's something more there, uh, some more complicated explanation, he seems to be saying, well, yeah, why, why did I do that? It really just doesn't make any sense as to why I would have done that, because now... I, I'm worse off than I was before. Why did I do that to myself? <laughs> that's, that's what it seems like to me. I don't know, who knows? Take marriage very seriously. Not being able to trust my own husband is a feeling that's just, it's, it's terrible and I don't want that. I told myself I was only gonna let myself be disappointed like that one more time and that's it. Right. So I can't subject myself to that. I'm sorry to say, but I don't want to be in this marriage anymore. Whoa. Uh, can't blame her <laughs> for, for a number of reasons. But, uh, okay, well, yeah, interesting. So I wonder how Zach's going to react here. I wonder if he's going to be like, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I feel like I have a lot to say, but I don't know what to say. I, I think with the lack of of transparency, it put you in a position where you had to make this decision. But I don't think I expected it. You're my husband, and you were purposely concealing that friendship from me. And you knew that at dinner when you were making judgments on camera about my character, basically calling me a liar, saying that I had some secret. Yeah, so Mindy is, is going straight for the heart right now. So let's see what he has to say, because I'm curious, now that he's basically backed into a corner, what's he going to say? I could, I'm imagining, based on past behavior, he's just going to be like, he's going to say something kind of evasive, like, yeah, it's, uh, um, well, let's see, because 
if he agrees with her, I don't know if he's going to go that far. Maybe some sort of excuse that doesn't make any sense. Let's see. And I was going to forgive you for that. I did forgive you for that. That's big. And I did not think, I knew it was a possibility, but I really didn't want to think that you would still lie to me after that. How do you do that to someone? To someone that's basically giving you their heart. How do you do that to them? That's all I have to say. Um, so they edit this, and maybe he did say something, and they were not being shown it. But there's also a possibility he he just is saying nothing, which I'm guessing. Well, it's just hard to know. I mean, he's just such a such a bizarre person. I, I just have to say, there's just no way of understanding what motivates him in this moment. Like I, I've been saying from the beginning, there's nothing wrong with Zach being like, "Oh my God, I don't have chemistry with this person. I'm not in love with them." Well, you know, I'll, I'll give it my best, but. It's just hard to tell what's going on. I don't think there's, you know, any reason for you to come back here, so you might want to grab your things. Okay. And leave the key. Okay. It feels like the most devastating thing ever, because what I imagined this whole thing being, it just... It's the complete opposite of how I imagine this being. So it's consistent. His behavior is just consistent. It doesn't make any sense to me, really, but it's consistent. I thought he was going to make kind of a confusing excuse, but from what's presented to us, he didn't say anything. She, she lays it on the line, and he just listens, and okay. So I, I, I would really want to know what's going on with him. I, I have known people like him before, and... I'm not quite sure if I knew what was going on. Let me think about that for a second. So I, I, I'm thinking of a few people that were, you know, similar to him in this way. The thing I would say is that, yeah, maybe IQ was a factor. Maybe common sense was also kind of a factor. Maybe ADHD was a factor. I wonder if that's part of what's going on. Certainly ADHD, adult ADHD, can result in some of the behaviors that we've seen from him. I don't know, though, you know, he doesn't exhibit sort of classic ADHD as an adult, so maybe that's part of it, too. Um, hidden motivations of various kinds, like, like I said, he's trying to come across like a hero on the show, and he's trying to avoid being the villain, who knows. But Mindy has reached a resolution. And I'm guessing this is sa a sad moment for her, but I'm also guessing this is kind of a celebration for her where she's just like, well, I'm moving on with my life. You know, let's put that in the past. I'm guessing that's what's happening. I wanted this so badly, and I was willing to do pretty much whatever it took to, to make it work. But what I've learned is no matter how much I wanted it, a marriage is not about one person. And my husband did not show up to be any kind of decent partner. All right, well, that does it for that episode of Psychology in Seattle. Thanks for joining me out there. Please take care of yourself because you deserve it. You really, really do.